Understanding End of Hostilities, A Guide to Peace Terms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a very important phrase that you might come across in news articles, history books, or discussions about peace, end of hostilities. This phrase is crucial for understanding how conflicts are resolved and what it means for people involved in or affected by a conflict. Let's explore its meaning, usage, and significance together. End of hostilities refers to the cessation of fighting or armed conflict between parties. The word end signifies the conclusion or stop of something. Hostilities refers to acts of warfare or aggression between groups, states, or countries. When put together, the phrase marks the moment when fighting stops and a move towards peace begins. Throughout history, the end of hostilities has marked significant moments when wars or conflicts reached their conclusion, either through a formal agreement, a ceasefire, or when one party is victorious. This term is often associated with treaties, peace agreements, or armistices that formalize the cessation of fighting. Understanding this phrase helps us grasp the importance of such moments in history and their impact on societies. In today's world, the end of hostilities is not just a historical term. It's relevant in current events, peace negotiations, and international relations. It signifies a hopeful beginning of dialogue, rebuilding, and healing for nations and communities. Recognizing this term helps us understand news reports and discussions about conflict resolution and peace efforts around the globe. We hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and significance of the phrase, end of hostilities. It's more than just a term, it's a beacon of hope for peace and resolution. Whether in historical texts or current news, knowing this phrase enriches your understanding of the world. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating aspects of the English language with you.